Strong surface winds creating considerable blowing and drifting snow. A ground blizzard in the Livingston area this morning at around 9 a.m. had the uh, interstate pretty much blanketed with a white out there and that's a concern across the region as we pick up wind gusts this evening into tomorrow morning there will be localized not widespread blowing and drifting snow and reduced visibility so your wind prone areas like around Whitehall, Three Forks, Livingston and you can see the winds are pretty brisk down there towards West Yellowstone and the winds and blowing and drifting closed Interstate 15 over Manida Pass this morning and that has reopened this afternoon but blowing and drifting is continuing likely to be a problem there overnight into tomorrow morning. Got an approaching storm system, much of the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, far western Montana under some kind of severe winter weather highlight, either an advisory watch or warning, Missoula to Spokane under a warning, several feet of snow likely over Lookout Pass, for example, blowing and drifting snow, big concern through Livingston heading into this evening and down into Island Park and Yellowstone National Park. And with the abundant cold weather, this is a side effect, ice jams forming near Silver Star and the Jefferson River is backing up water as far south as Twin Bridges near Hell's Canyon Road. And that's a potential flood problem as the river levels are up there near minor flood stage. Another area we're watching very closely as the river levels have been fluctuating quite a bit but gaining uh, elevation is around Logan on the Gallatin River. There might be a possible ice jam forming there as well. That's typical when you see these cold weather patterns like the one we've been tracking over the last week, week and a half. But increasing temperatures coming this evening with increasing wind, clouds, and eventually a little bit of snow in the overnight tomorrow morning.